It's just like a John Grisham novel. You know, without all the espionage. Most importantly, we've got spin control. That's where I come in. I get paid to talk. I don't have an MD or a law degree. I have a bachelor's in kicking ass and taking names. You know that guy who can pick up any girl? I'm him on crack. This is obviously a heated issue, and we do have a lot that we want to cover today. Nick, do you have a question? Joan, how on earth would Big Tobacco profit off of the loss of this young man? Now, I hate to think in such callous terms, but if anything, we'd be losing a customer. It's not only our hope, it's in our best interest to keep Robin alive and smoking. That's ludicrous. Let me tell you something, Joan, and please, let me share something with the fine, concerned people in the audience today. The Ron Goodies of this world want the Robin Williger's to die. What? You know why? So that their budgets will go up. This is nothing less than trafficking in human misery. And you, sir, ought to be ashamed of yourself. I ought to be ashamed of As a matter of myself. fact, we're about to launch a 50 million dollar campaign aimed at persuading kids not to smoke because i think that we can all agree that there is nothing more important than america's children all right now that's something that we're going to want to know more about but i have to take a short break hang on a lot more coming 50 million dollars are you out of your fucking mind everyone has a boss br just happens to be mine he came from the vending machine world. This made him tough. The name, BR, came from his tour in Vietnam. The people who know its meaning are all dead. The deal was five million. Five million dollars will get you a couple subway posters. It's not gonna impress anyone. That's the idea, Nick. You'll be thanking me soon. This will probably get you great press. I gotta call a captain and see if this is gonna fly. Get your ass back to DC. 